Welcome to Free For All Fridays, where 60 marbles compete in four groups in an elimination tournament. We have three new rookies making their debut, White Wolf, Leopard, and Python. Let's see how they do against the veteran racers. The first heat is up on the track, and they kickstart the tournament. Leopard is first out of the start, followed by Python. Rocky Mountain and Leopard go neck and neck. Python attempts to interfere with the battle. Leopard wins it to follow number two. Rocky Mountain, on the other hand, catches up, putting Leopard in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Back in front, Rocky Mountain takes the lead on the jump. Leopard follows behind. Further up, Python makes a quick move, placing White Wolf in last. Python catches up to Leopard. Rocky Mountain is still in the lead. Leopard almost got him, but Rocky Mountain's quick thinking helps keep the lead. Python now moves up to second. White Wolf also makes an attempt to pass, but he's now up with the group. Leopard almost rams Rocky Mountain. White Wolf cuts right into Leopard, but he fights back and keeps the runner-up into funnel number 5. The race is still tight, with Rocky Mountain still in the lead. Python joins Leopard and White Wolf in a three-way battle. Rocky Mountain still has a clear road ahead. White Wolf moves up to second. Leopard falls behind, with Python taking third. Unexpectedly, White Wolf makes a dirty but perfect move, and this awards him first place. Rocky Mountain loses the lead, but a runner-up will do. The race concludes with Leopard in third and Python in fourth. White Wolf is your first marble moving on to the finals. It's time to move on to the second heat. Two marbles from this group competed two weeks ago down the rapids. Tallgrass Prairies cuts through Space Black and Lionfish. Space Black and Lionfish are neck and neck. Space Black collides with Circus, giving them both a speed boost. I certainly haven't seen that in a marble race before. Space Black and Circus now fight head to head. Circus takes the lead onto the jump. Space Black takes second, followed by Lionfish. Tallgrass Prairie still struggles in dead last. Lionfish starts a three way battle. Lionfish and Circus are close to the prize. Lionfish keeps his head in the game to the funnel number four. Circus and Space Black follow closely behind. And Lionfish knows exactly what he's doing as he uses his competitors as a bumper to stay in front. Lionfish still leads the crew to the fifth funnel. Circus and Space Black certainly have the determination to win. It's still not over as anything can happen in these last two funnels. Circus and Space Black attempt to cut through. Lionfish still keeps the lead to the last dish. Space Black on the other hand makes a quick move on Circus. Space Black makes his move, but Lionfish wins a long and hard battle to the finals. Space Black finishes with a well-deserving second, with Circus finishing in third. Tallgrass Prairies failed to impress for most of the race, and this is going to be a hard loss. This finish was much worse than his last race. The excitement continues in our third heat. We have fan favorites such as Golden Viper and Sharktooth. And the race begins as they enter funnel number one. Deep Blue and Golden Viper cut through one another. Sharktooth nudges through the leaders, beats out Deep Blue. However, both him and Golden Viper waste no time to funnel number two. Golden Viper, Deep Blue, and Sharktooth clash minutes from the jump. Deep Blue spoils Sharktooth's lead. Golden Viper also nudges him, moving him up to second. Golden Viper has a bit of a struggle in the divider. Sharktooth makes a check on Golden Viper. Rainbow times his attack perfectly and he's now back in the game. Deep Blue takes the lead to the next dish. Rainbow jumps to second, followed by Golden Viper. What another nice play by Rainbow, using Golden Viper to shortcut to the loop. Deep Blue challenges Rainbow in funnel number 5. This battle will either make or break the victory. Deep Blue played great defense, but Rainbow still keeps the lead. Deep Blue catches Rainbow off guard. Both are fighting hard for the prize. Who's going to take the win? It's Deep Blue. Determination pays off as he is awarded a spot to the finals. Rainbow still had a great game despite losing the lead. Golden Viper places third, leaving Sharktooth the last marble to finish. That race was one of the most exciting we've seen in marble racing history. Deep Blue continues to be one of the best competitors on M&H Racing. Heat 4 is our last heat, which contains mostly classics such as Sky Blue and Lyman Dasher. 
Nebula makes a cut through Sky Blue, and this will put both of them head to head. Sky Blue was close, but Nebula takes the lead to the second dish. Jungle's giving Nebula a run for its money. Sky Blue shields Jungle, allowing him to take the lead. Does Jungle and Sky Blue have some sort of alliance? Nebula holds on to second, and it looks like that move did more harm than good for Sky Blue. Jungle beats Nebula to funnel number 4. Nebula now faces pressure from Sky Blue. Nebula takes it, but Sky Blue is right behind. Both Nebula and Sky Blue attempt cutting through one another. A couple near misses, but Sky Blue wins the draw and is prepared to challenge Jungle. Things are looking good for Jungle so far. Nebula takes third down the loop and in the stairwell. Near the top, Lyman Dasher causes more trouble than Nebula. Can Sky Blue pass Jungle in the final stretch? Sky Blue was close, but Jungle wins it and he'll be the last marble in the finals. Now it all comes down to Lyman Dasher and Nebula. Nebula gets the inside corner, Lyman Dasher cuts him at just the right time, which helps him avoid last place. Jungle has been one of our most consistent racers to date, but let's see if he can win the entire thing. It all comes down to these four marbles. Let's see who wins it. Despite starting last, Jungle causes trouble for Lionfish and Deep Blue. Lionfish cuts through the center, followed by Deep Blue. Deep Blue uses White Wolf to get early access to funnel number 2. White Wolf loses out to Jungle, placing him in last. Lionfish now faces pressure from Jungle. Despite the pressure, he makes it first to the jump. Jungle moves up to second, and Deep Blue outruns White Wolf, and this isn't looking good for the newcomer. Jungle and Lionfish fight head to head in the third dish. White Wolf misses Deep Blue further back. Lionfish keeps the lead, and White Wolf makes a quick deek through Jungle. Jungle and Deep Blue join forces against White Wolf, and this puts him in a risky situation. Deep Blue runs up to Lionfish up front. White Wolf is far behind once again. Deep Blue faces lots of pressure from Lionfish and Jungle. Amazingly, he uses them to his advantage to keep the lead. Jungle made a big hit on Deep Blue, and this battle will determine success or failure. Jungle tries to keep the slight lead, he makes it to the final stretch, Deep Blue wastes no time and nudges past Jungle at the last minute. That play will certainly be in the highlight reels. Lionfish finishes third, and White Wolf comes up in last. What a thrilling end to the first free-for-all. It's Free For All Friday once again at m &H Racing. We've got 60 more marbles duking it out, hoping to join Deep Blue in the ultimate finale. Today's track consists of many hazards including the world famous jump ramp, lots of funnels and multiple pathways. The pregame show is almost at a close and the first heat is ready to roll. We've got Ocean Cat's Eye, Tropical Sea, Black Hole and Galaxy. And we are off racing. The first four marbles now bump heads in funnel number one. Black Hole makes a cut through Ocean Cat's Eye, gets in the center and takes the lead to the second dish. Tropical Sea gets in second and makes a nice hit on Black Hole. Galaxy comes in third, leaving Ocean Cat's Eye behind. Black Hole faces some tension from Tropical Sea. Galaxy comes in nudging Black Hole, but Black Hole keeps it to the next part. Tropical Sea keeps second despite a jab from Ocean Cat's Eye. Galaxy catches up to Black Hole, they go neck and neck, weaving in and out, who's gonna make it? It's Black Hole, but that was some great defense from Galaxy. Ocean Cat's Eye moves up to third, leaving Tropical Sea and funnel number three. It all comes down to Black Hole and Galaxy to see who takes that lucky spot. What a play! Black Hole finally loses it at the final stretch, with Galaxy cutting through him at just the perfect time. Ocean Cat's Eye comes in at third place, Tropical Sea still left back there and finishes with a hard last. Galaxy takes the first spot in this week's finals. The marbles from Heat 2 get their places on the start. We have Tarantula, Alien, Translucent Green, and Lemon Yellow. A four-way battle keeps the spectators on the edge of their seats. Who's gonna take it? Lemon Yellow grasps the edge. Alien makes a quick maneuver taking the lead to the second dish. 
Tarantula can't keep up with the competition as the three leaders now fight a three-way battle. Translucent Green and Alien go body to body. Lemon Yellow catches up and keeps the lead to the next part. Translucent Green sneaks through Alien, placing him in second. That's not going to stop another fierce one-on-one. -on -one. Alien puts Lemon Yellow neck and neck. Translucent Green nudges Lemon Yellow close to the ramp and he keeps the lead once again. Alien second on the jump and the dual paths come before him. Lemon Yellow keeps a good distance from the group. Meanwhile, Translucent Green is dominating the dual paths and could potentially defeat Alien. Lemon Yellow still leads us in the final stretch. Incredible! Alien makes a perfect dodge, but Lemon Yellow somehow counters the attack, keeping him in first. Alien almost lost the runner-up to Translucent Green. We didn't get much action from Tarantula as he lingered behind the others. Tarantula just didn't have the stamina today. Moving on to Heat 3, we have Rainbow, Lima Dasher, Lava, and Blood Red. Who's going to take that third spot to the finals? Rainbow cuts through Lava, putting him and Blood Red head to head. Blood Red skims the edge, however, Lava gets the lucky draw into funnel number two. The race becomes erratic as Rainbow pulls Lava behind. Lima Dasher takes third, and Blood Red is left by the start. Rainbow is now pressured by Lava and his fellow racers. Nonetheless, he steals the top from Lava. Blood Red's looking for that opening, but he remains in last. Lyman Dasher causes trouble for Lava further down. It's deadlocked between them as they weave side to side. Rainbow stays in first, and Lava's defense helps keep him in second. Lava hunts down Rainbow in the dual paths, and this is building the tension for a fantastic duel in the final stretch. It's going to be a close finish. Who's going to stay in the competition? Rainbow reads Lava's mind like a book, blocking Lava's only window through. Lyman Dasher steals second, which adds more insult to injury. And just like Tarantula, Blood Red had a tea party for the majority of the race. This result will lower the reputation for the two-time tournament champion. We're down to Heat 4 with Pearl, Snowball, Yellow Swirl, and Milky Way. There's one spot left in the finals, and this race will decide who takes it. Right from the start, Snowball challenges Pearl in a head-to-head -head clash. Pearl strategically nudges Snowball into Milky Way, forcing another one-on-one. -on -one. Despite the mishap, Snowball maintains second behind Pearl. Milky Way was just a hair from hitting Pearl, and Yellow Swirl punishes him with a light but deadly hit. Pearl was threatened by Yellow Swirl, but he keeps his cool into funnel number 3. Snowball and Pearl fight in another head-to-head -head clash. Milky Way almost breaks the battle, Pearl still keeps the lead onto the jump and through the dual path. Snowball stays as runner-up behind Pearl. Yellow Swirl makes a risky cut, but the risk rewards him third place. In the final stretch, Snowball makes the race deadlocked. And just like that, Snowball deals the final blow to Pearl, ending his first place lead. It all comes down to rivals Yellow Swirl and Milky Way. And a quick move from Yellow Swirl gives him third place, evidently finishing Milky Way. Snowball's determination gives him the final spot in this week's finals. And the time has come. Four finalists from four heats come together. The roster consists of Galaxy, Lemon Yellow, Rainbow, and Snowball. Galaxy cuts through Lemon Yellow, putting him in a great position against the others. Rainbow helps Galaxy take the lead to funnel number two. Lemon Yellow makes it in second, followed by Rainbow. Lemon Yellow puts added stress on Galaxy. Galaxy uses Rainbow as a barrier to stay ahead. It certainly pays off as he still holds the crown. Lemon Yellow wins the head-to-head -head against Rainbow, placing him in second. Rainbow and Snowball are now battling to avoid last. Lemon Yellow had some pretty good opportunities to take Galaxy. Galaxy makes it first to the jump. Lemon Yellow had some difficulty there, but he manages to keep second place. Snowball makes a nice nudge on Rainbow, allowing him to move up to third. Back in front, Lemon Yellow challenges Galaxy for that spot to the finale. A couple near misses, Galaxy blocks Lemon Yellow's attack, and he takes the win! Lemon Yellow gave great offense, which will award him runner-up, which is certainly better than nothing. Snowball comes in at third, and Rainbow finishes with last place. Congratulations to Galaxy for fighting till the very end!
We hope you guys are having a splendid Thanksgiving. After a slight delay, Marbles are back on the racetrack for week 3 of Free For All Fridays. This particular episode is special as 8 new marbles are introduced to the roster. We're reusing the same track that was featured in the last marble duel and in the Halloween marble race. The pregame show is now to close as our first heat gets its engines fired up. We have Blood Red, Circus, Mars Orange and the brand new Coral Crusher. Coral Crusher cuts through Circus and starts a neck and neck battle, but it's Circus that will be taking the lead. Coral Crusher is still a threat however. Blood Red joins the two marbles leaving Mars Orange behind. Circus makes a nice defensive play and keeps the lead to the dual funnels. Coral Crusher faces pressure from the other two, but nonetheless keeps the runner up. Blood Red challenges Circus and Mars Orange looks to put a dent on Coral Crusher. Blood Red wasn't a real threat to Circus, Coral Crusher on the other hand is still on his tail. I'm really impressed on how Coral Crusher spends such little time on the ramp and on the roundabout. Blood Red and Mars Orange are on a pretty tight rivalry. All eyes are on the two marbles in front. Who's going to keep the lead? It's Circus once again. We're nearing the final stretch and Coral Crusher is still right behind. Coral Crusher puts the race in deadlock with that unexpected hit. He makes the cut, Circus counters it, and keeps the lead once again to win the race. Despite the loss, Coral Crusher played phenomenal of offense, earning him a tight second place. Mars Orange and Blood Red fight for third up top, and it will be Blood Red that earns the bronze. Mars Orange played well against Blood Red, but today just wasn't his day. We're going to see Circus in this week's finals. Who's going to join Circus? Our second heat consists of Cotton Candy, Trenches of Green, Mariana Trench, and Avalanche. The race starts with a tight four-way battle. Trenches of Green gets cut by Avalanche. He gets the inside corner, which helps him take the lead. The marbles up top still face a three-way match, and it's Cotton Candy followed by Translucent Green. Avalanche still takes the inside corner with Cotton Candy quickly approaching. Translucent Green gets held back by that hit. Ooh, Avalanche gets robbed by Cotton Candy back in front and takes first place. Avalanche manages to stay in second. Translucent Green makes it out third, challenging our current leader, Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy and Avalanche become head to head on both sides. Translucent Green and Mariana Trench are distance from the others. Avalanche gets pressured right behind Cotton Candy and gets lucky on the catcher. History repeats itself as Translucent Green narrowly beats Mariana Trench. Translucent Green gets stuck before the funnel and this is great news for Mariana Trench. Two head to head battles take place between the top two and the bottom two. Avalanche takes back the lead, winning the first battle. Cotton Candy pursues him through the last funnel and puts them both neck and neck. Cotton Candy takes the inside corner. Translucent Green interferes, skims the funnel's edge, but is beaten by Cotton Candy. Translucent Green jumps from third to second and almost takes first from Cotton Candy's stall. Avalanche comes in at third and poor Mariana Trench starts his career with a last place finish. Cotton Candy will be joining Circus in the next round. Heat 3 is next on our list. Four new marbles take each other on to see who takes the third spot. Glower Green and Twilight Twister make their career debut in this heat. Glower Green starts a battle in the middle, knocks into Twilight Princess, gets the inside corner but Serpent takes an unexpected lead. Just like that, Tallgrass Prairies is left alone in the starting funnel. Twilight Twister battles with Glower Green and Serpent. It's neck and neck from the three of them. Who's going to take the lead? Ooh, a sneaky move by Glower Green takes Twilight Twister and Serpent by surprise. Tallgrass Prairies moves up to third, challenging Glower Green in the funnel. Twilight Twister comes in at last, but is hoping to change that against Serpent. Serpent was too quick for Twilight Twister being the first to the ramp. This puts Twilight Twister and Tallgrass Prairies in a head-to-head -head duel. Tallgrass Prairies comes in at third to the ramp. Perfect shot at the catcher and this gives some distance from last place. The battle to watch now is Serpent versus Glower Green. Serpent has a slight lead over Glower Green and keeps the lead to the final stretch. Glower Green also keeps second. Twilight Twister passes Tallgrass Prairies only to get stuck in the middle of the loop. In the home stretch, Glower Green challenges Serpent in a make or break matchup. Serpent, however, uses the funnel's edge to quick move to victory. 
Glory Green doesn't finish far behind Serpent and will take second. Tallgrass Prairies is all that remains and Twilight Twister didn't even complete the circuit. Serpent finishes the course with 1 minute and 21 seconds and will be our third competitor moving on. Last heat before the finals, Sahara Sandstorm begins its career with Golden Viper, Lava and Ocean Cat's Eye. Golden Viper gets aggressive at Ocean Cat's Eye, later cuts him off, uses Sahara Sandstorm to keep possession. Lava also makes a deadly cut to Ocean Cat's Eye which helps Sahara Sandstorm take second. Golden Viper's main culprit is now Sahara Sandstorm. Ocean Cat's Eye gets some sweet revenge on Lava back on top. Lava barely misses Golden Viper and Sahara Sandstorm steals the lead to the dual funnels. Lava challenges Sandstorm on the right side while Golden Viper takes it a little easy on the other funnel. I'm not sure if Lava can catch up but it can happen with the determination. Viper goes neck and neck with Sandstorm, Golden Viper has a slight lead to the spiral, both make the jump and Sahara Sandstorm steals first on the catcher. Lava makes the jump at third and Ocean Cat's Eye keeps a steady distance behind. Golden Viper regains possession against Sandstorm. One-on-ones between the top and bottom marbles seem very common today. Back to the race, Golden Viper secures first on the road to the final stretch. Considerable distance is left between him and Sandstorm. Ooh, Sandstorm missed a golden opportunity to slow Golden Viper. Blood Red stalls further up, giving Ocean Cat's Eye greater confidence. And it's Golden Viper that takes first place. The main highlight now is between Lava and Ocean Cat's Eye. The battle is head to head, the strain between them is at the max, both the marbles skim the edge of that funnel, who's going to win bronze? It's Lava! The greatest battle in this race was safe for last. After a last place finish in the river race, Golden Viper is back in the game and is our last marble moving on. And it all comes down to the final four. The winner will compete against Deep Blue and Galaxy in the grand finale. Serpent challenges Circus to a duel, they weave in and out and side to side, and a nudge from Viper helps Serpent take the lead. Just a couple short seconds is all it takes for Cotton Candy to be left behind. Serpent has a slight advantage, Viper and Circus catch up and start a three-way attack. The battle's tight, they are on the verge of collapse, and it's Serpent that wins it. Circus is ready to start a one-on-one -on, -one on the dual funnels. Golden Viper however catches Serpent off guard with that hit. This puts Circus closer to the finish. Cotton Candy is a bit late for the party. Circus takes the effortless lead to the jump, followed by Golden Viper. Viper almost takes it at the catcher. Serpent comes in at third. Cotton Candy comes in at last, goes down the spiral, but miraculously makes a perfect landing. Safe to say that Cotton Candy is back in the game. Circus keeps the lead further up. The last seconds of the race will make the difference of success and failure. Golden Viper makes his way down. Serpent and Cotton Candy battle for third in the second last funnel. Cotton Candy gives last to Serpent. Circus is on his own and has a great chance of being undefeated. And Circus takes the third spot in the grand finale. Golden Viper finishes the race with second. Cotton Candy and Serpent are all that remain. Serpent runs beside Cotton Candy, it's a tight finish for third, who's gonna take it? It's Cotton Candy! Serpent hasn't had the best of luck this race and finishes in last place. Congratulations to Cotton Candy for taking third, Golden Viper for being the runner up, and to Circus for taking the top. Happy Friday to all of our watchers! Week 4 features some marbles that lost in the previous episodes but today they're given a second chance. After the finals, we'll be set up for an exciting finale with Deep Blue, Galaxy, Circus, and the winner of today's tournament. 60 marbles will be taking on our brand new track. Four groups of four will race down at a time, and the winner of each group settles it in this week's finals. Heat 1 of 4 is ready to roll and will be kickstarting a new epic round of racing. And we're off! The first race begins starting off week 4. Python is being aggressive right from the start as he cuts off Sky Blue and Space Black. One last hit from Sharktooth is all it takes to get a head start. Sharktooth battles with Space Black and Sky Blue up top. Sharktooth advances first followed by Space Black. Python already clears the funnel giving no chance to either one of them. Blue slows Black with that hit and starts a 3 way battle. Sharktooth homes on both Sky Blue and Space Black, but Sky Blue takes advantage of him and gets stuck right before the divider. 
The three marbles make their way to the dual funnels, but Python puts them to absolute shame. Python is dominating the race with no signs of slowing down. Space Black homes in on the funnel center. He misses the sweet spot, just grasping the edge, but finally clears the dual funnels. Sky Blue beats Sharktooth for the second time this race and gives a hard hit on Space Black. Python is no challenge as he enters alone to the final stretch. That hit, however, did help Sky Blue take the inside corner. Sky Blue plays defensive to prevent Space Black from passing. Black was close, but Sky Blue keeps runner up to the final stretch. Sky Blue can't do anything though, as Python reaches the innermost corner and effortlessly glides to victory. Space Black misses the big hit on Sky Blue and narrowly misses him multiple times. Sharktooth finally cleared the funnel and joins Black and Blue in the last funnel. Space Black gets beaten by Sky Blue to the finish. Sharktooth still has a chance to avoid last. Sharktooth almost sweet spot of the hit, but Space Black refuses to give up bronze. That leaves Sharktooth finishing in last for the second time in a row. Python overshadowed the other three from start to finish and showed he is undefeatable by pushing the limits. We're moving on to Heat 2. We have classics such as Blood Red and Yellow Swirl in this heat. Tarantula starts with a nice hit on Yellow Swirl. Tarantula keeps up and blocks Yellow Swirl with his body. Tarantula keeps up with Black Hole in the inside corner, but Black Hole starts with the lead. Tarantula comes in at a close second and catches up to Black Hole. Yellow Swirl joins the three, leaving Blood Red behind. Ooh, Yellow Swirl catches up to Tarantula, putting him in a Black Hole head to head. Yellow Swirl skims the edge, but Black Hole counters the cut. Yellow Swirl puts immense pressure on Black Hole to the dual funnels. Tarantula manages to keep third, but there is still hope for Blood Red. Yellow Swirl follows the same strategy as Space Black, hoping to save time. It pays off as Yellow Swirl takes the lead. Black Hole slowed down a bit, dropping from first to second. Blood Red and Tarantula duel head to head. Black Hole missed that opportunity to regain the crown. Blood Red makes it out of the duel funnel's third and causes even more trouble for Black Hole. And a third hit from Tarantula puts Yellow Swirl in the lead. The tables have turned with Blood Red and Tarantula now ahead of Black Hole. Yellow Swirl makes it to the final stretch. Blood Red gets pressured further up, but moves up to second. Black Hole avoids last while Blood Red challenges Yellow Swirl for first. Blood Red homes in, but Yellow Swirl dodges it and gets stuck at the final sprint. Black Hole makes a game changer, bumps into Tarantula, and chases Yellow Swirl to the finish. And Black Hole takes the unexpected win. Blood Red finishes right behind them, leaving Tarantula with another last place loss. I've never seen the first place leader stall at the final sprint. Black Hole took advantage of it, earning him a spot in this week's finals. We're halfway there with Heat 3 on board. We have classics such as Milky Way and some newer competitors as well. Trench and Milky Way battle neck and neck. Glory Green separates them, but that's not stopping Trench from taking the lead. Seawater misses the hit. Glory Green clears the funnel and makes a hit on Seawater. Lower Green attacks Trench, but Trench reads him and keeps first to the dual funnels. Green later stumbles on the zigzag, but appears to be okay. Seawater drops the third, but hopes to beat Trench in the funnel. Lower Green also homes in on the center of the funnel. A couple close calls, however Green avoids a potential battle with Milky Way. This puts Lower Green in the lead, dropping Trench to second. Seawater keeps third out of the dual funnels, comes in and slows down Trench. They both battle neck and neck. Lower Green separates them, and Green takes the lead to the final stretch. Mariana Trench regains second. Seawater slows down along the curves and almost hits Green. Green has the inside corner, he borders the edge. Seawater checks him, then cuts his way to victory. Seawater jumps from third to first, robbing Glower Green a spot in the finals. Mariana Trench blocks Milky Way's hit and finishes with third. What an impressive cut by Seawater. I don't know how it was done, but I'm sure that play will be in the highlight reels for quite a while. Heat 4 is our last heat of the day. We have Sunlight Roaster along with Avalanche, Flame, and Twilight Twister. 
Twilight Twister makes the first cut, putting him and Roaster head to head. Flame gets caught off guard, and Twilight Twister pushes Roaster out of the way. Sunlight Roaster still looks to be a risk for Twister, and they join together for another neck and neck duel. They both weave side to side, grasping the edge. Twilight Twister still holds the lead, approaching the dual funnels. Roaster keeps up and challenges Twister in the opposite funnel. Flame and Avalanche battle up top to avoid last. Flame beats out Avalanche, and Sunlight Roaster gets a head start out of the dual pass. Twilight Twister makes it out. Let's see if he can take back the lead. Ooh, a slight delay isn't good like what happened there. For now, Sunlight Roaster keeps the inside corner from Twister. Roaster keeps first position to the final stretch. Avalanche makes it out and can possibly pass Twilight Twister. Flame, however, pushes him back with that check. This left Twilight Twister an open road to the final stretch. Sunlight Roaster shows no mercy and refuses to put up a fight. Don't know how, but Roaster napped first and ran away with it. Flame leaves Avalanche behind. Can he take second away from Twister? Avalanche finally clears the second last funnel. Twilight Twister avoids Flame's fireballs and keeps second place. Now all eyes are on him and Avalanche to see who takes third. And it's going to be Flame which makes Avalanche finish with the last place. Twilight Twister took the lead for the first half, but Sunlight Roaster stole it from the dual funnels and kept it from there to the finish. That deserved the last spot in this week's finals. Now our finals are up to race. The winner takes the last spot in the grand finale. We have Sunlight Roaster and Seawater just to name a few. The four hover around the center, not knowing what move to make. Roaster cuts through Python, and Python counters it and uses his body to take the lead. Black Hole cuts through Roaster, placing him in second. Seawater does the same, putting Sunlight Roaster in last. Python homes it on Space Black and makes a quick move clearing the funnel. Roaster makes a cut on Black Hole and moves up to second. Sunlight Roaster now looks to beat Python on the other side. Black Hole and Seawater clear the top funnel. They both join the two leaders at the bottom. Python skims the edge while Sunlight Roaster lags slightly behind. Python takes first and stalls right on the track. Sunlight Roaster takes great advantage of this and speeds up to first. Seawater slows down on top and that's an interesting strategy for holding up Python. Finally, Seawater clears the funnel, almost stalls as well and narrowly passes Python. Seawater has some trouble up there. That strategy seemed to do more harm than good for him. Sunlight Roaster secures his lead to the final stretch. Black Hole and Python battle head to head. Seawater attempts to interfere but gets blocked by both of them. Python ends the battle and challenges Black Hole up ahead. Sunlight Roaster runs off with the lead and takes the last spot in the grand finale. Black Hole and Python meet again in the last funnel. Black Hole homes in on the center, gets a little help from Seawater. Black Hole makes it in and gets chased by Python. Ooh, Python almost catches up and takes third behind Black Hole. Seawater had some opportunities, but waiting for that perfect moment in the dual funnels didn't help at all. Sunlight Roaster runs with the win for the second time this tournament and will be joining our previous winners for a thrilling final matchup. Here we go, the winners of all four weeks take the stage. The Marbles rev up their engines, hoping to take home the grand prize. They all begin battling in funnel number one. Sunlight Roaster cuts in on Circus. Deep Blue interferes along with Galaxy. Sunlight Roaster takes the lead. Galaxy comes in behind, followed by Deep Blue. Deep Blue almost makes a hit on Roaster. Galaxy chases Roaster and challenges him neck and neck. Unbelievable, Galaxy uses Deep Blue to shortcut to the dual funnels. Sunlight Roaster follows in second in front of Deep Blue. Deep Blue has a shot at taking down Galaxy. Deep Blue waits for that time to strike as Galaxy skims the funnel's edge. Galaxy keeps the lead to funnel number 4. Circus just makes it to the dual funnels further up. Deep Blue takes second out of the dish and gets chased by Sunlight Roaster on the other path. Galaxy keeps the inside corner. Deep Blue almost takes it from him. Deep Blue and Sunlight Roaster team up on Galaxy. Galaxy fends them off and keeps the lead to the final stretch. Ooh, Deep Blue counters Roaster's attack and challenges Galaxy for gold. And a perfectly timed hit puts them both head to head. Deep Blue cuts Galaxy and vice versa. They both grasp the funnel's edge and it's Deep Blue. 
Galaxy follows them behind, tailgating the leader, and a photo finish concludes the grand finale. Circus makes it to the final stretch, but arrives too late to take out Roaster. Sunlight Roaster comes in at third place, leaving Circus the last marble to cross the finish. Circus ends the finals with a disappointing result and concludes the free-for-all Friday's tournament. What an epic finish by our two leaders, but Galaxy took the win by only a hair. Congratulations to Galaxy for winning the free-for-all championship and to our runner-ups Deep Blue and Sunlight Roaster. Thanks for coming to another great race day. Post a comment on which marble you were rooting for, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more racing fun. We'll see you guys next time on m Racing.